Hi, I am Dr. Abhinandan Reddy, Consultant Spine Surgeon, Asian Spine Hospital. What is osteoporosis and how does it affect our bone health? Osteoporosis is a silent disease of the bone wherein the microarchitecture of the bone is slowly deteriorated, making our bones very weak, which leads them to easily fractures in different parts of our body, especially in the hands, that is our wrist, our hips, and our spine, that is the vertebral column. How does it affect our bone health? Because of the weaker bones, it easily puts the bones under stress for the normal loads which we do in our day-to-day -day activities and it leads to increase the risk of fractures. There is decrease in height among the elderly people with risk of osteoporosis or easily fracturable parts of our body like wrists and hips lead to crippled life. What are the causes of osteoporosis? A lack of balanced diet, especially in the female since the childhood can lead to decreased peak bone mass. That is usually the females and males develop their peak bone mass by the age of 30 years. If there is lack of balanced diet during the childhood and decreased in protein intake, the micro architecture of the bone is disturbed, therein rendering the bone weak, which can lead to early osteoporosis lack of regular exercises also can lead to osteoporosis lack of regular exercises combined with bad dietary habits and alcoholism and smoking can also lead to osteoporosis and especially in patients related to renal disorders there is decrease in the metabolism of calcium and vitamin d leading to decrease in the bone metabolism and bone recycling and forming of new bone leading to osteoporosis and also especially in patients dealing with steroids in their day-to-day -day life, especially in skin diseases and other rheumatological diseases can also render the bones weak due to osteoporosis. What role do calcium and vitamin D play in preventing the osteoporosis? Generally, we require vitamin D at up to 800 international units and calcium up to 1000 to 1200 milligrams per day in our dietary routine. If there is lack of vitamin D and calcium in our dietary routine, we develop metabolic disorders of bone leading to decrease in the bone metabolism leading to weaker bones that is rendering the bones weak leading to osteoporosis. At what age should we start thinking about osteoporosis? In females especially after menopause you should start thinking about osteoporosis and in men after 60 years of age, you should start thinking about osteoporosis if you have symptoms relating to osteoporosis. What are the symptoms of osteoporosis? Because of decrease in the bone architecture and weaker bones, patients may usually experience early fatigue and especially in the elderly, slowly they start drooping that is leading to arched back because of loss of vertebral heights and easily fracturable bones like wrists and hips after a trivial fall. Why are women at greater risk of osteoporosis? In the females, the bone health is directly related to the estrogen and progesterone balance in the body. In the females especially, the peak bone mass is achieved when they are 30 years of age. Proper dietary requirements since the childhood can lead to good peak bone mass by the 30 years of age. Once the female experiences menopause, that is when they are at 50 to 55 years of age, the peak bone mass which was attained at the age of 30 years slowly starts decreasing leading to weaker bones. So an early menopause may lead to early osteoporosis and females generally experiencing postmenopausal stress and postmenopausal blues at the age of 50-55 years slowly start developing osteoporosis at the age of 60 to 65 leading to weaker bones. How is osteoporosis diagnosed? Osteoporosis is diagnosed by using a DEXA scan that is we are measuring the bone mineral density of the bone quality at left wrist and left hip and in the lumbar spine. These three regions combined when we look at the measurements if the DEXA score is less than minus 2.5 we quantify them as osteoporosis. Anything between minus 1 and 2.5 is quantified as osteopenia. Anything more than minus 1.0 is quantified as normal. So 
anything less than minus 2.5 on a bmd or a dexa score is quantified as osteoporosis as per who guidelines what are the complications caused by osteoporosis osteoporosis per se is a weak bones so this leads to increased risk of fractures even after a trivial fall and if ever a patient tries to have their surgeries done on any part of the bones especially after a trauma leading to a fracture or in their spine or if they want to get a replacement in their hips or knees the weak bones can lead to many complications wherein the replacements may not go as planned and patients may experience early fatigue may not be able to carry out their day to day activities and especially in the elderly can lead to arched backs wherein the patient might stoop forward because of the decrease in the vertebral body height how can osteoporosis be effectively managed once diagnosed with osteoporosis there are few medications wherein we can use against the osteoporosis to increase the bone mineral density we have medications like bisphosphonates which increase the bone mineral density over a period of time these can be taken as a weekly medications or a monthly medications for 5 to 7 years and also we have hormonal therapy in the terms of teriparatide where we give in daily 20 micrograms of teriparatide synthetic hormone subcutaneously for over a period of 2 years which in increases the bone mineral density by increasing the new bone formation and also recently we have come up with denosumab wherein a 6 monthly once injection is given so as to decrease the bone resorption which may decrease the osteoporosis in the new bones how can osteoporosis be prevented by lifestyle choices maintaining a good regular healthy diet that which includes 800 international units of vitamin d and 1200 mg of calcium every day in our dietary routine can increase the bone mineral density that is we maintain a good bone health and especially in the children and in females especially since the childhood if we maintain a good dietary routine leading to good peak bone mass by the age of 30 years the onset of osteoporosis can be delayed smoking and alcoholism can also lead to osteoporosis hence non smoking no alcohol can also lead to good bone health and also people consuming steroids for their other diseases like rheumatoid diseases or skin diseases should generally have a check on their bone mineral density to rule out osteoporosis and if diagnosed should take care of osteoporosis using medications to counter the osteoporosis regular physical activity and regular exercises especially in the males and females of elderly population can help in decreasing the osteoporosis levels